Hey, once again, Weather Geeks, it is the Wednesday edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, my daily web-only in-depth weather video. We always take a look at the longer range, but uh, focus some on the on the short term as well. And boy, I tell you, beautiful day out there today and uh, not much going on this evening. It's just a spectacular, very comfortable evening. Once the sun goes down, if you're going to be out and about, you might even need a little uh, long sleeve shirt. The air is very dry, temperatures this evening in the lower 70s. And uh, dew points continue to drop as well. Let's uh, show you the dew points here. Uh, there we go. Dew points are down in the mid 50s, even lower 50s in some spots. So, yeah, for you know early to mid August, this is a real nice treat out there this evening. And it's going to be a great night tonight to check out the Perseid uh, meteor sh uh, meteor shower. That is. Uh, these originate from the constellation Perseus, but you don't have to look there. The, the constellation in the northeastern sky is where they radiate from, but you can look up just about anywhere in the sky and see some meteors tonight. Now, this will not be this evening. I've had some questions about that. What time uh, do I need to look? And the answer is, uh, you know, any time after midnight is probably okay. Uh, before midnight, though, we're just not... Uh, the Earth's rotation, we haven't rotated into that debris trail just yet uh, before midnight in order for us to uh, to see the, uh, the dust particles and the, the other debris particles uh, in, the, uh, in the tail of the comet, which is why we're having a meteor shower. Uh, we won't be in that sector until after midnight. So basically midnight up until 5, 5.30 in the morning before it starts to get light out uh, is when your best opportunities are to see some uh, meteors out there tonight. All right, as far as uh, back here at home, our weather for the next uh, few days, bring up uh, the NAM model here, show you what's cooking for the uh, the tail end of the work week. And the answer tomorrow is, of course, well, not much. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at tomorrow afternoon. That would be, of course, the 13th. Uh, area of high pressure situated over southern Ohio tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day. Now, we'll start out cool, but the afternoon will be more seasonable than today. Average high actually went down from 81 to 80 today. We'll be close to that mark during the course of the day uh, tomorrow. No wet weather worries until later on Friday. Here's the NAM model Friday afternoon, suggesting that maybe a shower and storm tries to get into Cleveland and Finley and maybe Ashtabula before the afternoon is through. But for our viewing area, I think we've got to wait until evening before some of this action slides in. Here's 8 o'clock in the evening. And that's when that opportunity is there for a shower and perhaps a thunderstorm. This is a sorry excuse for a front. And as we head into the day Saturday, this front's going to just kind of wash out across the region. Just sort of, you know, be erased from the weather maps, basically. But still, with the boundary nearby, might have to allow for a spotty shower or a storm on Saturday. Here's the NAM. Here's the GFS. GFS is a little farther north with the old washed-out boundary than the NAM, which is why it has the, the green here a little bit closer to us. It's a 30% chance Saturday, so if you've got outdoor plans, certainly don't cancel them. Plan on a warm and humid day, but not a particularly rainy day. Just an outside chance of a, of a shower or a thunderstorm in a few spots on Saturday. And then the heat is on as we head into uh, the latter half of the weekend and into next week. Uh, as high pressure slides off the East Coast, we'll get into a southwest flow. And then up in the upper levels, the, uh, the big ridge out west is going to start to uh, nose east and so you end up uh, with an upper level pattern that looks like this with that ridge kind of nosing east like this right now we have a big trough which is why it's cool but that trough is long gone by sunday and early next week so it's going to heat up and uh, we're talking about uh, temperatures by sunday afternoon and into monday as well that will probably approach 90 you know here's the gfs showing 91 92 on sunday that might be a little overdone but Look at all the widespread heat, basically east of the Rockies. This is a pretty impressive outbreak of heat across the eastern two-thirds of the country coming up at the end of the weekend and early on uh, next week as well. So the 16-day numbers off the GFS Ensemble look like this. Again, a couple of days pretty close to 90, Sunday and Monday, maybe even Tuesday, uh, depending on the timing of the next front. And then uh, a little bit of a seasonable trend here for the middle portions of next week. After that, not seeing much cool here. You know, we're in a pretty warm pattern, it looks like, for the second half of the month of August. Well, what about September? You know, we're almost halfway through August, so never too early to start thinking about the next month. And the climate models are hinting at a warm September, which we would be consistent with an El Nino base state in the atmosphere. As you probably know, uh, we are going to have a very strong El Nino, it looks like, 
uh, for the fall and winter seasons. Um, oftentimes El Ninos uh, lead to somewhat warm falls and even Decembers. Um, after that, they can go either way, but uh, often the September to December period is relatively mild in our neck of the woods, and so this climate forecast system uh, forecast for, uh, for September is pretty consistent with an El Nino base state. What does El Nino mean for our winter? Have a look back through my weather blog, ericwfmj.com, for some possibilities. Uh, it's a complicated forecast for the winter, uh, but with a strong El Nino, certainly uh, it's going to be a different kind of a winter, I think, than the last couple of years. Now, could we see a lot of snow? I can see that. Will it be as cold as the last couple of winters? I'm more skeptical of that. I, I suspect that uh, we might have a much more average winter temperature-wise, and that'll feel like a warm winter, considering the back-to-back -back ugly winters we've just had. Now, that uh, normal temperature regime might still lead to quite a bit of snow. That remains to be seen. We're going to have much more on the winter forecast as we head towards the middle of fall. In the meantime, thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you tonight on 21 News at 11. Have a great night.